Hello investor and trader. Welcome back to another episode of live day trading recap. Right now it's earning season so a lot of companies are releasing the numbers and it's really fun to see these stocks spike up and spike down. You know back when I first started 2015 I would buy a company before earning release I would hold a stock and then I, I would hope and I would pray that it would go up and I make some big profits right you know like 10% pop or 15% pop um, depending on the stock. But normally I trade tech stocks, so those are like kind of normal pop or drop. And sometimes you know, they release good numbers, like very nice numbers. But the stock tank, I'm like, what the heck? Dang it, now I got to hold this stock for three more months or two months so that I could go back up, you know what I mean? So I'm asking myself, man, there must be a better way to play this. Of course, over a long period of time, several years, and I finally, you know, learned that, oh, there is a better way. <laughs> you can play either before earnings hold through earnings or after earnings, which is the reaction of the stock, right? Those are the only three things you can do. So I normally do before earnings and now the reaction of earnings. I don't hold through earnings no more. It's, I do some, but not a lot. I mean, like small sh position, sure, but I don't gotta go big position, no way. Because I don't know, you know sometimes when the company release good numbers, but the stock still goes down, and then that pissed me off. Sometimes the, the numbers are lousy, the stock pop. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> right? So let me give you an example. So here is my transaction of my one of my account. You can see Amazon on uh, uh, January 8th, I bought at this price, 31.50 or 55, right? So let's go to Amazon's chart. So this is before earning. Let's go to three months. So where is the January 8th at? Right here. So I bought around this price, uh, well, on this candle at the 3150-ish. So why at this candle and why at this day? Well, if we zoom out on Amazon, you can see for the past six months, it, Amazon is around this channel right here, right? The ideal is 3100 or around 3100 right worst case you buy 3200 agreed so i just like you know i just buy in the middle that day you know earnings has come up in two weeks and then of course earning comes and then this happened now we saw what happened to earning for amazon right i sold it before the earning was released i sold at 3400 you can see right here so i don't want to gamble you know i'm happy with my 250 dollars per share Right? You have 50 shares, hey, you're making 12 grand. You have 100 shares, you make 25 grand. It's simple as that. So I'm happy with my little profit and I don't want to go through earnings. So that's that. And then yesterday, uh, I, I think I made a post about a friend asking me about earning criteria and stuff. So today I demonstrated again, but this time I captured on camera or footage. Yesterday I didn't, I just trade without recording. So let's go straight to the footage. So let me play the video. Lately, you know, I don't see any good setup, so that's why I've been posting. Like, you know what? This is just boring trades. No, nothing, no good setup. It's just scalp trade. Like, nah, I don't want to post it. Because when I post video, I like to make it valuable and a good learning tools. Because sometimes I go back to my video and I watch these and thinking, like, why the heck did I do that? You know, like, like I protect my own trade or my own setups. Okay, so earnings. So let's go to earnings. So earnings released uh, after close. So this is the time right here is one o'clock California time. Okay, earnings about to release pretty soon. So the first stock I look at, I have a whole list of stock for earnings uh, that I created, and P T O N was one of them. So let's go to P O oh, P I N S is also. Notice this this earning right here pop. I don't like stock that pop because I don't know how high it'll go. Maybe you buy here and then next thing you know a tank, right? Then then you're stuck, you know what I mean? So I don't like to buy stock when it's pop. So I'm looking for a stock that tank. Okay, PTON tank. But notice notice the spread here is like five dollar, four dollar apart. I'm like, dude, no way. This is <laughs> this is not for me. So I'll let it cool down a little bit. Um it just gone wild you can see. Yeah it's pretty wild. So on this kind of trade, uh, RSI is low, it's 19.20. But look how crazy this thing is. It's like all over the place, and you know? I'm like, uh, 
I don't think I I don't think I want to trade this. And if I did, I missed it right here because it already bounced like four or five bucks, and then thing go back down. I'm like, damn, this thing is really crazy. So I decided not to trade this stock. So let me pass forward a little bit. I tried I decided to trade another stock. The symbol is U. I think it's a software company or something like that. Uh, right here, there we go. So the next stock that uh, that popped up was U. U is dropping pretty fast. This is what I like. RSI is very low. Again, I'm looking. I'm looking for the whole number. You know, like 135, 130, 125, so on, and so on. And U is dropping fast. And the, the sad thing about this is, the hard thing about trading this is you have to use limit because it's after hours, people can see your orders. Like right here, this is level twos. They can see your order. So you have a big order, like, I don't know, 10,000 shares. They can see it. You see like, someone ordering 1,000 share right here. Someone buying one share right here. So that's the sucks part. So I entered you at uh, 134, 1,000 shares. Get my feet in the water. But notice this tank. It went down to 130. So I'm like, okay, all right. So now I'm down 4K, right? Theory, in theory. So I'm like, okay. Then I saw the reversal. Good. I was up a little bit. Uh, let me slow down a little bit. I speed up too fast. So the stock went up, went up to 135. I was waiting for like a bounce like right here or something. At least like right here. Because the moving average, moving averages are like way up here. But nope, unfortunately that didn't happen. You know, at one point here I'm up like 50 bucks. Because I remember I entered at 35. Uh, sorry, 134. I'm up like 600 bucks. But I didn't take my profit. I was waiting for a higher pop. But nope, it went back down. Let me speed up a little bit. Notice the spread is also a pretty wide spread, so I need to I need to pay attention to that too. And of course, you have to use limit. You cannot use market. Those kind of suck. Okay, so here is going back down a little bit. Uh, I wasn't freaking out. I'm like, okay, I have under thing under control because I only went in a small position, only a thousand shares, not full position. I never enter full position, by the way. I need to leave room for error. So let's pass forward a little bit. And now it formed a doji on the second candle. And now it's going down. At this time, I'm like, okay, cool. Now I'm watching a 130. So I have my order ready. I use limit again, of course. It went down a little bit past 130, but it's okay. You can see my second order come up pretty soon. Again, the RSI is very low on the five minute chart. So now I'm watching the 130. There you go. That's the order right there, limit order. It, look over here. This is where the order comes in. So right now it's 28 cents above my price that I want to get in. So in my mind, I tell myself, if this bounce back up, then let it be. I'm not going to chase it. Okay, cool. So now I got in. So now I have 2,000 shares at an average cost of 132. All right. Not bad. So it has to go above right here a little bit for me to make money. I should have add now. See now, now it's hindsight, right? I should have buy another two thousand shares instead of one thousand shares, right? <laughs> but eventually, it did bounce. Um, I was watching the one thirty five or one thirty four, or even one thirty three, because I, by now, in theory, by now, I want this to go above for here already because. Notice one, two, three. It's really 15 minutes, and there's no strength because it still looks like it want to go back down. That's the one thing uh, we need to consider is how how the reaction is going on. I mean, this looks pretty bad for the stock because it's not bouncing as fast as the other stock that you saw, like uh, PTON or PINS. So I know, oh man, uh, I need to get out pretty pretty soon. I don't think this is gonna go past 134 or even 135. So you um so let me pass forward a little bit. So right there, I think I sold it, right? Yep, right there, I sold it. So I only made fifty cents per move, so only a small little gain. 
But I'm glad I made that decision due to instinct how that stock react to it. Because after that, the stock is not doing much. Now this is experience coming into play when you play when you, you know when you practice all this a lot. You just have an idea what the stock is doing. So let me pause this and go to the chart as I'm recording this because the market still open on aftermarket. So now if we go to you, you still open. You can still buy share from you. And check this out. Okay, see, so I sold it right there on this kind of ish. And see, see that happen? I knew this was going to happen. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get out. And I'm glad I got out because, again, uh, sorry, I go all over the place. Remember last time I said earlier, I said watch for whole numbers like 130, 125? <laughs> it hit 124.80. Pretty close, pretty cool, right? Anyway, so I got out right here. And I know I kind of knew this was happening. Again, when RSI is low, that does not mean it's a buy, right? It, it can go like this all day long. It just depends on how people react to it. So I'm glad I got out a small, tiny gain, only in like 900. So I, end, I ended up with a day with $1,000 on this account, which is not so bad. Uh, what else do I want to say in this one? Ah, here's a good one, Snapchat. I was watching Snapchat too, but I missed the opportunity. I was, I was I was looking for something like this, where this thing just dipped hard fast. Or it's at a super low at the 50 again is a whole number, 48, 49.80, pretty close to 50, and then it just bounced like five bucks. And now that's just, this is what I want. See how fast that thing bounced, like almost like half the size of the candle. Meanwhile, you, you see that bounce? It, it's like. It's not even that high. I was like, I wanted like halfway, but no, that didn't happen. That's why I know I need to get out based on the reaction of the stock. Um, yeah, other than that, not, nothing much. Maybe today, oh, tomorrow, this is going to gap down for sure. But maybe the best case scenario, it might go back to 130 possibility. I mean, if you look at the big picture on this stock, it's still a pretty good trend. It's uptrend, but it's kind of overpriced though. Oh, it just IPO? Really? Oh crap! <laughs> I didn't even know it looks like it's IPO. Yeah, you can't you can't go back anymore. Damn, that's risky. Oh, wow! I don't even know it's just IPO. I just find out right now because I I just again I just pop my scanner and I look at all these big moves and stuff. So you may ask, how do you find these earnings date? Well, the the website that I use is uh, Finvis. So let's go to here. So I use Finvis to search for these stocks. And it tells, oops. Let me close this, make it smaller. Right here, these dates are here, you can see. After hours, the list of stock, and before hours. So you click on after hours, and it shows you a list of stock for you to, to choose. So that, that's what I did. I just I just type in the stock that I like or think, think that I might spike up or spike down. And I just put that on my computer screen and a bunch of stock charts. And I just wait and wait. And then, you know, I watch with the big movers when the, the report comes out. And I look for stock that tank heavily. And that's what I did. Okay. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.